Hi, this is Jeremy, and I'd like to show you how to use Microsoft Link to do a web conference and record that web conference. Now, we can record web conferences even if you don't want to be conferencing with anyone, even if you just want to use it purely for the use of screencasting. Um, I'm using a different piece of software just so that I can show you what I would do to start a web conference and to start the re recording using Microsoft Link. With your Link window open, the easiest thing to do is click on the Meet Now tab. And what this does, here we go, I don't know if you heard the little noise there, um, but what this does, it opens up a conversation and it adds audio as well. So um, what it means is that I can add people to this or people can come into this if they've got the right details. And we can be collaborating using text or we can be talking to each other over the phone line or we can share each other's, or well, we can share desktop the program, um, PowerPoint presentations, even have a collaborative whiteboard. We can even attach files to send to each other. Lots of collaboration abilities there. That's the web conference. Um, you can find the details for the web conference there. Um, this meeting link you can copy and paste into Moodle and have your students click on this to enter the web conference. Um, it's great for if they're off campus because they don't need Microsoft Link to do this. Um, if they want to um, join this using Microsoft Link, then there is normally a number. They can probably dial this number and it should be able to let them in. Um, okay, so to record what you have to do is to share something so whether you share your desktop or a specific program or even the PowerPoint presentation or even the whiteboard you can select exactly what you want to record normally you might do desktop to show everything to everybody and so you share it now and then you go start recording <coughs> and that is how you record it I'm going to start recording just a little bit and then I'm going to Stop recording. Right, now you've seen it asks you to name that recording. Upstairs. Okay. And then what it does down in your down here it will show recordings manager. And now you can see it's it's created a link recording, but it's also creating a, a, a video file that, um, you know, I'll, I would upload to YouTube or something like that. So it's as easy as that. Um, if you would like to um, create a web conference appointment <coughs> beforehand, so if you wanted all your students to attend at a certain time, it's easy enough to do by using Microsoft Outlook. Let me just get that into view. Under the calendar, new online meeting, and voila. And what that does is it gives the information. You can email that to all your students, or you can put this link up on Moodle. Those are the staff members who have link, and they're on campus, or are using a staff laptop. All they need to do is dial this number from link, um, and enter the conference ID, and it will add them in perfectly they'll be able to get all the features easily so students might need to download uh, Microsoft Silverlight um, but that is a piece of software that is going to be of more and more use in the future anyway um, it's not you know not unlike Shockwave or Java or Adobe so yes um, I think there are options for when students download they can download the basic version or they can download the more advanced version um, if they have install rights on their computer and that that more advanced version can actually help them to share their screen. Um, if, if they download the basic version, they won't be able to share their screen. They'll just be able to view yours. Okay, I've now jumped to a view of what a student would see if they were to click on the web conference address and it was to open up in their browser. I'm using Microsoft Fire, Firefox, but it shouldn't look too different in... in sorry, I'm using Mozilla Firefox, and it shouldn't look too different in Microsoft Internet Explorer.
what they see is I am phone and chair. Um, now these are just screenshots because I've had to prepare this earlier, but what happens when they click on phone, they can then enter their own phone number in and Link will call them back. And that way, when they are attending, um, they can be typing and have that typing and attachments associated with their voice as well and their video if they have a video camera. So, um, really easy for the students um, and there's lots of potential. So if you have any questions, I am free to let you know, help you out. Um, yeah, I've used it a couple of times with students um, on and off campus and it's worked a treat. So, thank you very much.